everyone welcome to the next illustration so this will be the 21st of July and I decided to continue with that same um, strategy that I had on the previous uh, two illustrations so the cluster of flowers seems to be quite appealing to me now and I decided to go with something similar to the previous pages but just elongate the shape of the flower uh, a little bit further and that way kind of changing it up a little so it doesn't look exactly the same and also for the color palette I will um, make a few changes there as well I decided to go with something a little bit different um, which might be unusual for a flower as it's a green color but you will see that in a minute so as always I'm starting by drawing out these flowers and um, yeah just um, simple shapes um, ovals half circles that kind of a thing and as always filling the space with some leaves as well so that's pretty much what i'm doing here sorry if i sound a bit um different today i'm feeling a bit low on energy again and um let's see what i will manage to finish this series on time but i'm trying to be gentle and kind to myself and yesterday I actually gave myself um, a few hours of complete rest I didn't do any work and um, yeah but sometimes it doesn't seem to be enough <laughs> so I might be again on one of those drops I don't know what's going on so yeah, I'm just continuing with the uh, leaves again, creating a taller vine and a few leaves with loads of space in between and filling the page. I also um, wanted for this illustration to fill the page more than with the other illustrations and although it's off-centered and I quite like it, um, I wanted to make it larger and so that it's more about the illustration because previously the idea was you could do some journaling in the spaces um, amongst the flowers in the negative space but uh, now I wanted it to be all about the illustration and uh, I mean there's still some space there to do some journaling but uh, you don't you don't need to fill that space if that makes sense so that's it simple lines I'm still carrying on with that and in a minute I will move on to the colors now the color I decided to go here for is that kind of an unusual color for a flower which is this beautiful um, green which has a little bit of turquoise in there I'm trying to find my palette so I can tell you I think it was the Prussian green if I'm not mistaken yep it's the Prussian green by Daniel Smith it separates beautifully in a couple of different colors depending on the paper on this paper there is not much granulation or pigment separation happening um, but yeah so previously I have noticed that a lot of people were asking me about the difference of granulation and color separation and some people were um, um, thinking that it's sort of the same thing it's not really um, granulation is when a color granulates so it can be one pigment of a color and you can see the the texture of the pigments basically coming together as if it's sort of magnetized in some clusters and that's what granulation is now pigment separation is a different thing where it's uh, it can be granulating as well however 
it's more about seeing the colors uh, separate into you know individual colors within that um, watercolor wash so you could for example get some moon glow would be a great example where you get some blues and purples and pinks um, separating in different areas and it's quite unpredictable it depends how you use the water and every time you'd get a different effect so it's really fun to use these colors and then in this case the Prussian green also has a little bit of that pigment separation uh, which is more evident on watercolor paper or paper that has texture to it so something that would be uh, cold press rather than hot press this to begin with is not a watercolor paper this is a mixed medium our journal all the details are down below for you uh, if you're interested and then also it's a completely smooth paper so things like granulation wouldn't come through as well as it would do on a cold press watercolor paper all right so for the green i'm again teaming up with the core uh, green gold from the same palette and um, keeping it very simple i think i'm just grabbing the journal to remind myself time ahead yeah that's that's it I will just use one more watercolor and in this illustration I'm not using any of other um, art supplies not even my beloved museum aquarelle so this is this is a truly limited color palette of just three colors because I think I've done one before where I thought it was three but then I ended up using yeah the 19th of July that was um, where I ended up using two of those museum aquarelle pencils so it made it five not three in actual fact but here it really is three and I think if I think of all of the illustrations that I did before this is probably the one that truly has only three unless I forgot some anyway so um yeah so that's what I'm doing now I'm grabbing the Schmincke gold which I am really loving and I think it looks so beautifully um, when it's um, it looks beautiful what I'm trying to say uh, with the Prussian green when it's sheared out so not too much of it and it looks like part of the watercolor and very very pretty and as always, I like to add a little bit more on the uh, core green gold leaves in the bottom part of it. And that's it. Very simple this time, but I really like it. So I'm trying to think what is it that I did? What else I did on this one? That's it, I think. I just th stamped a date. Yes, so I'm just stamping the date, which is the 21st of July, and that's it. I'm going to let you enjoy the close-ups in a few seconds. I hope you enjoy this illustration and see you in the next one.